again everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in the sims 4 thank you very much for joining me here today we are building some beachfront townhouses and i know i promised the other day that i wouldn't bombard you with townhouse speed builds but i'm telling you now i think i found my jam i think i found the, th the thing that I'm supposed to be building and I think that is townhouses so you can expect a lot more of these on the channel <laughs> obviously I am absolutely open to build suggestions so if there's something that you would like to see that I haven't done yet please let me know in the comments down below or send me a message on Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr everything is linked down in the, in the description below so if you have any other ideas for me I am absolutely all ears and I will try my best to cater to any requests However, as I was saying, townhouses, I am having so much fun building them at the moment and I did mention in my, I think I mentioned it in my colonial townhouses speed build, all of my recent townhouses will be linked down in the description below if you'd like to check them out if you haven't already and if you have, thank you so much. I, I can see that quite a few more people are having a look at them which is really nice to see. So I'm glad you're enjoying them because I'm enjoying building them and they're receiving quite a lot of downloads on the gallery as well which is really nice to see. So thank you again and I'm hoping these beachfront ones they're a little bit different so obviously I'm I, I explained that I was going to try and do some different themed townhouse speed builds and so this is the beachfront one and <laughs> as you can see from the video at the start we do go through a little bit of an aesthetic change so initially I wanted to use this exterior swatch from Island Living because I wanted to initially do a blue townhouse and a yellow townhouse and I wanted them to look a little bit run down and then as I was doing them I kept changing my mind and you know I'm like I'm completely indecisive and so what you're seeing here structurally it is absolutely the same however we do change it in terms of swatches and things like that and then we're just playing around with some window styles and I'm just trying to work out here what looks interesting, what looks good, what doesn't look good. And so we're just doing a little bit of trial and error really. And so um, we do end up doing, I think it's a yellow and an orange one. And we just use base game swatches for the outside, which I think look kind of nice. And I think I would like to try and do some townhouses in Sulani as well. I think that would be quite interesting. But... I understand that if townhouses aren't to everyone's taste however I'm enjoying doing them so much and the feedback that I'm receiving so far has been generally very positive but as I said if you do have anything that you would like to see me build then please let me know and I will do my absolute best to try and if I can and if obviously if obviously it speaks to me and if, if it's something that I think I can do mansions as something that I've just never been able to get my head around I completely admire anyone that can build a mansion and make it look good in The Sims 4 now for those of you who have followed me for quite some time and there's probably very few of you I have been on tumblr for around eight years and I started my sims posts when I started my tumblr and I've always been into building smaller houses and apartments and things like that. I'm, I'm absolutely open to building large homes, you know, four, five, six bedrooms, but they're never mansions because I just don't think they go with my decorating style. I don't think I can clutter them enough and really give them the time and focus that they need. But as I said, anyone that can do it, I mean wow I'm an absolute awe of you you know it's it really is something that not everyone can do and so I'm just trying to stick to what I'm good at and what I'm good at generally is apartments I'm quite good at apartments and I'm quite good at smaller houses medium houses and as I said large houses but as long as they're not mansions <laughs> mansions scare me they terrify me and modern builds as well scare me a bit i think if you've noticed on the channel if you are a returning subscriber and if you are a new subscriber welcome i'm rachel and i am not very good at building mansions or super modern houses and anyone that can do that i am in absolute awe of you i'm in absolute awe and as i said my background is tumblr based so 
I think we we on Tumblr we call it Simbler, but we have a, a very unique style and I think my builds kind of reflect that and so I don't ever want to give that up because that that build style is my style and I'm not saying it's completely unique to me I am sure there are plenty of other people that build very similar to me but I think my builds are quite unique in their own way and I don't ever want to stop doing that so yes that's, that's completely enough of the ramble now as you can see here we have gone in a completely different direction as I was explaining earlier for the exterior of the build I already had a general idea of what I wanted the interior to look like although that also kind of took a bit of a turn as well but that just tends to be what happens when I sit down and build and I knew that I wanted to get these beach houses out I I couldn't go to sleep last night I couldn't get to sleep for some for some reason it might have something to do with the fact that one of my dogs Maverick it seems to get up and down and up and down and up and down in the middle of the night about any anywhere between 10 and 30 times because he he like <laughs> he circles round I don't know if anyone else has dogs that do this but he circles round to get comfortable and then he'll lay there for two minutes and then he'll get up and then I'll do it again and then I'll get up and then I'll do it again <laughs> so and I have already explained this before my dogs do sleep with my husband and I in our bed and you know some people might find that strange some people might find that normal you know I suppose it depends what you do with your own dogs but they do sleep with us and Harley my miniature dachshund isn't too much of a problem <laughs> but Maverick who is a greyhound labrador cross who is quite much quite much <laughs> quite a lot bigger than Harley does pose a problem sometimes you know especially when we're in the bed because we've only got a double bed as well it's not a queen or a king size bed it's just a double bed and so you know I, I just I, I just couldn't sleep last night and mostly it was because of Maverick so I'm I'm not I'm not in the best moods with him today but anyway so the point of the story was <laughs> while I was laying awake in bed last night I decided that I wanted to do some beach themed townhouses and that is exactly what we're doing today and so I had an, a, an a epiphany epiphany <laughs> a epiphany there we go I can finally say it that I did this on the channel and this is what I came up with so you can thank the fact that I couldn't sleep last night for this speed build because if I hadn't been able to sleep last night sorry if I had been able to sleep last night <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not very good at these voiceovers. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I'm not very good at these voiceovers. But I refuse to edit, edit, see? See what I mean? This is exactly what I mean. I refuse to edit any of this out because one, it's a lot of work. And two, we're all human. We all make mistakes. And sometimes we get tongue tied. I get tongue tied probably more than the average person. So here we are. If you've made it this far into the, into the video, <laughs> See, I just made a mistake again. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. And I promise we're gonna start talking about the house now. Ramble over, stop talking about your personal life. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. The kitchen is by far my favorite part of this house, which is kind of nice because as I've explained in my very recent speed builds, it seems to be the living room that, that's that been the sort of the better room out of any of them. but. Finally, we're back to doing what I do best and that is kitchens and hopefully one day I will do a build where the bedroom is better than the rest of it or the bedroom is just as good as the living room and the kitchen. That would be really nice because I'm not very good at bedrooms so if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to make bedrooms look half decent in this game, I would very much appreciate you to just shoot me a message and say, well I do this and this looks really good so... I'm always open to ideas <laughs> so I wanted to keep this very quaint very classic and we do change out some color swatches here and there and I do end up replacing the fridge which which is there at the moment that fridge is from the snowy escape expansion pack and I end up switching it out to a really cheap base game one and using the sort of teal colored swatch because I thought that went better with the aesthetic of the build. It's it's very mismatchy, it's very cute, it's, you know, it's 
it's like a small beachfront townhouse and that was sort of the vibe that I wanted to go for with this build and one item that I promised myself I would use in this build from the cats and dogs expansion pack I, I didn't use and that is the lighthouse light I think it's a light I don't think it's just a statue I think it's an actual light I did not use that in this build and I promised myself that I would put it either on the coffee table or on the fire or on top of the fireplace and I didn't do either so I feel like the whole aesthetic of the build is kind of not it's not gone out the window just because of one item that I forgot to use I think you get the general idea of sort of what's going on so I think that's good but we use a mishmash of items in this house and I do this a lot with my builds. I just I just grab a bunch of items from a bunch of different packs and stuff packs and game packs and I I have got a I don't want to say I've got it scheduled for this week because then if I don't do it I feel like I'm I'm not like promising something. <laughs> so I do have on my list of houses that I'd like to build a base game only starter house that's under 20,000 simoleons so I have that ready as in <laughs> I haven't actually built it yet but I have the idea ready in my mind and that is something that's on my radar because I am aware that not everyone has all of the packs and I would like to have some of my builds be available for everyone and I think I've only done one base game only build and I, I don't think that's good enough I think I need to be doing more of them and so I I would like to do a few more within the next few weeks so hopefully that will come to fruition but we'll have to see <laughs> so I didn't know what to do with this wall here so what I end up doing is just putting some kitchen counters there because I did realize and I do realize that my builds because they are cluttered I don't think I ever leave a counter free for your sims to actually cook and make their meals on and so I figured it would be a good opportunity for me to leave a counter free so as you can see there that middle counter is free so hopefully your sims will be I say hopefully I've already play tested it so I know your sims can just prepare a meal on there so I know it seems kind of silly that they have to take everything over there and then everything back but it looks so pretty like the rest of it looks so good you know so why why spoil that <laughs> <laughs> so now we're moving on to the upstairs. I don't know if I've mentioned that this is a two bedroom, two bathroom property. The townhouse next door is exactly the same as my colonial townhouses. Again, link down in the description below if you'd like to go and check that out. So the, the other house is it's not it's partly furnished, so it's furnished as if your sims were ready to just move in. So it's got the kitchen set and all the toilets. Oh no, it's not two bathrooms, it's one bathroom. I listed it as two bathrooms, but it's not. So there's a laundry room and there's a bathroom. And I've also realized that I didn't put any laundry baskets in any of the bedrooms. Wow, I've really like not done so good there, have I? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So there is a laundry room and there's a bathroom and there's two bedrooms. So ignore it on the gallery if you are downloading from the gallery. It's not two bathrooms, it's one bathroom. But if you don't have laundry day or if you don't want to use laundry day, then you can just replace the washer and the dryer with a toilet and a sink. I don't think that would take too much to do. So it'll be fine, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Obviously today is the day for me to be making mistakes. I can't do a voiceover. I can't list my build properly. I'm doing really well today so that's always good <laughs> so this is the master bedroom and my the master bedroom in my most recent speed build which I will also link down in the description below my IKEA inspired apartment I, I kind of went all out with the bedroom on that one and I was quite happy with how it looked and so I wanted to bring an element of that to this bedroom and although I'm not as happy with this one as I was with that one I think it's still a step up from what I usually do so just giving myself a little pat on the back right now <laughs> and then the the room next to it I think we ended up doing as a toddler's room which is something that I don't do very often so 
This house is more catered towards probably a young couple who have a very young child but if you if they do have a child sim or a teen sim I don't think it would take too much to just replace the bed and then obviously if they are a, a teenager you might have to just replace some of the, the, the decor as well because obviously it's catered more towards a toddler but I don't think that would take too much work so it's no big deal. So we're just finishing up the master bedroom here and I didn't really know what to do with this space to the left hand side of the wardrobe so we end up just putting a coffee table there from the Moschino stuff pack and just popping some decorative items on them. I, I don't think it's, it's nothing special but that's okay. And then with this room I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do in terms of colours so I wanted to keep everything quite neutral, quite muted because the rest of the house is neutral and muted and I didn't want this room to be sticking out too much and initially I did put a, a bed in here for an extra young sim but we end up taking that out because I realised that there wasn't space for a wardrobe which wouldn't have been a big deal but I wanted to make sure there was space for a wardrobe so we end up removing the bed and popping a wardrobe in the bay window there which I can't imagine someone would do in real life because that's such a nice sort of area of the of the room so I don't know we end up just putting the wardrobe there because it was easier <laughs> and then we do like a little reading nook so anyway I'm gonna leave you guys here but thank you very much for joining me here today if you'd like to download this house, it's available to download from the gallery under my origin ID, which is Rachel Ped. Tray files are linked down in the description below and screenshots are at the end of the build if you'd like to see what the house looks like in game. But thank you again for joining me here today. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.